Hi, this is Edgy Joe, and welcome to another video in my series on Excel tips and tricks that I want to teach you. In today's video, I want to show you how to use the concatenate function. The concatenate function is a function that you use to join up one or more values, one or more pieces of data. Um, let me show you, for example, I'll just do an example at the bottom here. So let's say I want to have both the values of um, John and Smith in one cell. Let's say for whatever reason you want the name and the surname in one cell rather than in two cells. So I'm just going to do the concatenate function there and then I'll show you how to add the zero to the telephone numbers. So I start off with concatenate, concatenate, and there's the value. I double click and then you can see here you've got text one, text two, and you can have as many together as you want. So I'm going to choose that cell and then I add a comma. Now it wants the second part of the data so I click on the second part of the data and then I'm just gonna close the bracket so when I enter you will see it would have joined up those two cells um, but there's not gonna be any spaces in between have a look so there's John Smith all the data is in one cell you've got the concatenate that just means joining up and you've got C4 and D4 and if I wanna have a space in between I just go in between there and there's a comma so I can add a double quote and a space and a double quote and then I just put another comma and then I have three bits of data I've got that cell that piece of data and then the data in that cell so when I enter now you have John Smith uh, with a space in between so that's very useful to use uh, for example to uh, join up name first names and last names and so on so let me just delete that one more importantly now for our movie booking system I want to add a zero in front of all my telephone numbers so you can see I already have a ran between function over there so in order to do the concatenate function on this telephone number what you would do is you click in between the equal and the ran between and then I start with concatenate I just double click the word concatenate and then I'm going to put the value of zero and comma so we have our text value so that's the first one that's the second one and then just remember because you now have a new function with a new bracket so you have to always have an open and a closing bracket so there's an open bracket then you have another open bracket so then you have to close that last bracket and then close the first bracket so now when I enter you can see that the number has a zero in front of it using the concatenate function and then if we use a full handle tool to copy this down you can now see that for all of these telephone numbers we have added a zero um, in front of it to use for our test data set so this is very useful if you're just testing data and you don't want to go to type sort of hundreds and hundreds of lines of uh, telephone numbers um, and that also works with other things like uh, you can see I've got uh, well not yet but I'm gonna have maybe um, a ticket number or a seat number or something like there's a requested seat and there's an allocated seat so there might be seat numbers or something like that later on where I can also use uh, the rand between and possibly the concatenate as well I hope you enjoyed this video thank you